Welcome to Sodo Creations where we make your imagination a reality. I decided to slow down a little bit on this video to explain to you how I assemble this balloon garland. I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail, you know what this is all about. I have an event in a few hours, the event, let's see, it's 12.40 right now. The event, I'm installing it at three. So I'm gonna work with you, explain how I put this together, and then we're gonna go to the event. It is a little boy's first birthday. I get so excited about first birthdays. I have four kids and for me, the first birthday is always a celebration of the parents. I don't know how you guys feel about it if you have kids, but I always make a huge deal out of first birthdays because I'm like, whoo, I made it to a year. Wow, we've hit this first. First, 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 first milestone, and I get so excited. But this is a little boy who's turning one, and his parents contacted me to make this. They don't want anything huge, but they specified they wanted some blues and red. So I was thinking of how to design it, and I think I'm gonna just mix all the colors together instead of doing blocks of colors because with the blocks of colors, I don't want to isolate because I have two shades of blue and one shade of red. If I did the blocks of color, then I would just have the blue maybe, the red and another blue because this is a 10 foot garland. So I decided I would just mix all the colors to make it look fuller and just combine everything. And I haven't done a lot of these, so I thought this was a great opportunity to record this for you, but not only that, to actually explain how I assemble all these garlands. So I have my pump right here. I'm hoping this pump got some rest from the last time I overworked it. And then I have a red, just a typical red color. All these balloons are Qualitex because I like Qualitex brand for outdoor install. So I have the red. I have the red is 5 inch, 11 inch, and 17 inches. All are going to be the same size. So red, this Robin's egg blue, and you see once I start inflating, and a pale blue just to mix everything together. I thought also about maybe a navy blue or something like that, but I think this will work just fine, especially if it's all mixed in together. So let me show you first how I make all my clusters. Because it's a 10 foot, I think I'm going to make about 20 clusters of the smaller balloons. So um, I'm gonna start inflating and I'll explain to you how I inflate them. So. I still want them rounded but not too too big so we're gonna press right there and just tie and because I'm doing three colors I'm gonna add my third color right onto it so you just that's tied. I'll do it again so you can see. And I'm just gonna tie the second one, the third one on. You can double tie if you want. So there is, there are the three colors. You see, this one is bright enough that it stands out and this is a pale blue. So these colors go really well together. I'm gonna demonstrate again. That's one color. It's too small. And the 
other. So you just tie them together like so, and then we'll take a pale blue. <laughs> and you just add that on and twist it yeah i'm pulling on to the neck of that pale blue one you twist it twice and just use one of the strands of the other one to tie it on like so I try to keep all my ends on the same side so that when I install it, this side doesn't show anything sticking out. So that's what I do right there. Okay, I have to make 20 of those. I'll do that and I'll show you how I assemble the other one once I'm done. they're the same size it's not that big of a deal with this design because I have different sizes of balloons but with these little clusters I think they look better when they look the same and you don't have to use a balloon sizer unless you're being a perfectionist but you just estimate and it looks fine thing when you're tying them you want to make sure you're tying them as close as possible to the inflated part of the balloon so you don't want to leave you don't want to leave a big space here when tying it has to be pretty tight close to the balloon okay we're done with that I have 20 of those if I need more I'll inflate more at on site I always take my pump with me. I take a few supplies that I need. If you want me to show you what I carry when I go to install, I can show you that. Just comment down below if that's something you're interested in. I haven't quite figured out fully my audience. I know there's some professional decorators already that have subscribed to my channel. And I know there's some people who are still learning, but I don't know if you're interested in any videos like that just let me know and i can show you my bag is actually a mess right now but it does have everything i need i have to probably organize it a little bit better but we're gonna move on to our 11 inch and 16 inch balloons with that one i'm gonna measure it because they want a 10 foot carlin so i'll inflate what i can and then put it together see if it's long enough and then add on to it so here we go we're just gonna inflate, mix and match different sizes, different um, different sizes, different colors, so we can get all our clusters together and then assemble them and decide if we need longer. So I'll keep this to take with me the five-inch balloon. my stand here my end table so it's easier for me to inflate there we go okay oh we had one more 
I'm sure someone back there is someone is screaming they're like you have one more you have one more <laughs> double tying I didn't do that for all but some are double tied okay here we go so I don't like mixing the sizes because then I'll get confused I don't want to sort throughout through it because some people want designs that are single sizes and I don't I don't want to go through that I'm gonna put my 16 inches here and the 11 inches over here. Again, we don't want the oval shaped balloon, so you wanna compress and let air out. Still oval, compress, let air out, and you want it round, not oval. So that's what I'm going to do. And then tie them together real tight. And we're going to just mix and match different sizes, different shades of this one. back and we'll assemble what I have measured to see if we have enough now I don't have any of my bags that I put the balloons in I get those from the U-Haul store so once I'm done I'll have to go buy that come back put all this in and then I'll show you at the venue how I install the balloons I'm installing this along on a shed outside so I'm hoping the weather cooperates. It doesn't look too, too bad. We're in the 90s, which is still pretty hot, but it's not as hot as when my kids had their birthday and it was like 110. So let me move this back and I'll show you how I assemble everything. So first I'm gonna just start with making the quads, which is four balloons. So I'm combining two balloons, two pairs each to make four and then we'll join them together and see if we have enough or if we need to inflate more. So here I go. And you just cross them over and twist. I do is take a neck from one of the clusters I just find one that pulls out well enough you see I can I just pull that from the inside and put my hand in the other and find another and just tie those two together the Qualitex are pretty easy to 
cool they're really stretchy so it helps with the design because i don't have to work my fingers as hard with the qualitex so i'm just gonna keep doing that till i get about 10 feet and i always do more obviously always another thing i'm looking at the 16 inch balloons these the bigger ones to make sure i have an even distribution of those within my garland so. you can see there where it's stretching and pulling but once i finish i'll adjust everything and then put my five inch Clusters, the one we made earlier, and that would fill all those spaces. <laughs> Yeah, I'll show you twisting it around so that I don't have the same colors too much in one place so as you can see here it's just all red so I want to twist get some of that blue to break up the colors a little bit So that's right about 10 feet so I need a couple more clusters right there and I should make it that was good measurement or eyeballing because I have no idea it will be just enough it's probably gonna be 11 or 12 feet long from the balloons I have left but I'm not gonna do anything with the balloon so I'll just add that on okay so we are all done i'll show you what we have let me flip the camera around and then i'll go buy the bag and then buy no write my thank you card and i'll meet you at the venue so let me show you real quick so here's the 10 foot garland right here i can show you for those of you who oh have to see so that's nine and then ten so there you go just about it's an organic the 16 inch balloons which are the bigger ones these right here help also fill up the balloon they are more expensive and don't come as much in a pack but they help fill up the garland pretty well and all I have left is this pardon all the other balloons and the stuff I have laying everywhere, my kids help me redecorate the house. So I just have this left. These are all the smaller ones. We're gonna add that to our design and I'll pack all the extra balloons I have as well. So meet you at the venue. This is the finished look. I absolutely love how it turned out. I paused the picture just to explain the rest of the tutorial. The arrows on the right have command hooks right there along the brick 
and the arrow on the left is showing the command hook on the ceiling. That circle has a command hook, but I ended up not using it. The five inch clusters were added on after I installed the garland that we made from home along those command hooks. It turned out really good. If you learned something, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing the video. And there's another angle of the video. Have a blessed day.